Brought to you by StationHouseCoffee.com and InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. UFC on ESPN and UFC Fight Night just happened this past week. Two events, one on Wednesday, one on Saturday, and I'm previewing the UFC Whitaker versus Till uh, for next Saturday, but the first one, UFC on ESPN from July 15th, Cater versus Ige, uh, was a fun card. was a really great card. The prelims were amazing, like just tons of tons of finishes, tons of amazing performances, a lot of great debuts for fighters, a lot, like super impressive. Uh, the main card was all decisions, but still a fun card. Uh, Lazez... Uh, Monir Lazez versus uh, Ab- Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Uh, great fight. Lazez looks amazing. Uh, it was his debut, um, and he looked amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, Molly McCann. Is that on this one? Uh, yeah, Molly McCann. She definitely looked better than her previous performances, but Santos was just too much just overwhelmed on the feet and in the grappling was just too much i think just overall uh just a a step up in competition uh jimmy rivera versus cody stammen close fight rivera just uh eked out the uh the win on that one tim elliott looked amazing again uh i mean just so so north it was kind of a, a come from behind victory i would say he he um Didn't look that great in the beginning, but was able to turn it up in the third round and get that win. Um, And then Calvin Cater versus Dan Ige was uh, just a great fight as well. Just overall, it was a really fun night of fights on Wednesday um, for the UFC on ESPN. And then uh, Saturday was Joseph Benavides versus uh, Figueredo for the second time. The first fight uh Benavides was kind of winning but his his stand up was he was like leading in with his head during every punch during every kind of uh engagement and just throwing like big hay- haymakers no straight punches just wide hooks and leading with his head eventually got headbutt got his head busted open and uh kind of rocked him also uh, which I would say was his own fault for leading with his head for so much of that offense in that first fight. Uh, ended up getting uh, destroyed, though, in this rematch. Uh, didn't, didn't matter. Um, I mean, he had a better game plan. I would, I would say he wasn't just uh, uh, leading with his head, but <clears throat> once it got to the ground, it was pretty much the beginning of the end. Jack Hermanson got a submission win over Kelvin Gaslam, was able to... Uh, I mean, they clinched up, and Kelvin had an amazing reversal uh, when uh, Hermanson was taking him down. But uh, he was able to get that get that ankle, get that foot, and uh, get an ankle lock, hook, a heel hook. I'm sorry, against Gaslam. Um, so a, a sad win for Gaslam. It didn't. We really didn't get to see much. Uh, it was a first round submission. There was, you know, a little bit of striking, but once it went to the ground, it was uh, a pretty pretty uh decisive end to that to that fight um overall just some great fights uh some great uh first time performances again some debut performances from some guys uh just a great night of fights nobody offhand i didn't take any notes on the on this fight so i can't really recall exactly oh an amazing knee bar uh, from Lipsky, that was just a crazy, uh, pretty dominant performance all overall, but just uh, a great, uh, great knee bar. Just, just painful to watch. Painful to watch knee bar. Um, but yeah, some good, some good fights, some some submissions, some uh, um, guillotines, some triangles. Uh, some amazing, just amazing performances from some uh, some up and comers. So looking forward to more of those fights. It was a great, great week of fights. And next week, thankfully, there's no midweek fight. Uh, it's just next Saturday we have another a UFC on ESPN, Whitaker versus Till. I am looking forward to this one. Robert Whitaker, 
uh, coming off of his loss of the belt to Israel Adesanya. Uh, Darren Till, I think, coming off of a loss as well. Was it to uh, Masvidal, maybe? It seems like no. He just got a win off of Gastelum. Uh, so he's coming off of a win. And Whitaker is... Yes, that was his last fight, was the Adesanya fight, which was, I guess, not that long ago. 2020, it just feels like it's been forever. Uh, so looking forward to that one. Hopefully Robert Whitaker is healthy. He's been known to pull out of fights due to health reasons, uh, pretty close to the fight. So far, I think everything's good. Everything's smooth. All these Fight Island fights have been pretty smooth uh, going. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one. Whitaker versus Till uh, should be a crazy fight. I'm a big fan of both of these guys, um, and they're both great strikers. Maybe it'll be uh, contested on the ground, but they they both are pretty well known for their stand-up, so hopefully we get a nice stand-up fight. Then we have uh, Shogun Hua against Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. This is a an old-timey retirement fight of, of sorts. Uh, it's amazing that both of these guys are still fighting. Uh, Shogun always, he like, he'll go on a skid and then he'll have a fight where it's just, he makes you think like he's back or something. And it's just, like, we all know. So his last fight was a split decision with Paul Craig, which is kind of crazy. Paul Craig, kind of an up-and-comer, not really setting the world on fire, but... Uh, then he had a, a win over Pedro, lost to Anthony Smith, then beat uh, John Volante, which everybody beats John Volante. Corey Anderson, that's a good feather in his camp. Uh, and Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. So maybe this is this a this is a rematch. That's interesting. Uh, and then Noguera, the younger Noguera, he's had some good wins too. He's had some good wins. Not super active, but uh, you know. Should be a good, should be an interesting, fun fight, hopefully. Uh, then we have Gustafson versus Verdum. Gustafson fighting at heavyweight for the first time. I really hope Gustafson wins. I am not a fan of Verdum whatsoever. Like, his only shtick is the, the, fa the smiley face that he does. Uh, other than that, he seems like a little whiny bitch. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's another one of those kind of uh, older heavyweights, kind of been around for a while, ups and downs, win some, lose some. Um, and Gustafson, I think Gustafson's striking is going to be a, a problem for Verdum. And I think Gustafson's wrestling is going to help him stay on his feet. So Verdum probably has his best chance to win if it goes to the ground, but I don't think uh, Gustafson's going to allow it to go to the ground. Carla Esparza is back. She's been on kind of a run against uh, Marina Rodriguez, so that should be a fun fight. Paul Craig, mentioned before, is uh, fighting Godza Mur Murad uh, Antikolgolov. It's exactly how you pronounce the name. I didn't mess it up at all. Uh, so hopefully Paul Craig gets a win. I, I like Paul Craig. I want him to do good, and I think in his last fight or two, he's definitely improved. Uh, you know, it seems like he's putting more of an effort, more energy into training full time. Uh, I think before when he was early in his UFC career, he was doing multiple jobs. I think he was a teacher, maybe. Uh, and then the, the, pre, the, the first fight of the main card is Alex Oliveira versus uh, uh, Peter Zabata. So that should be a fun welterweight fight as well. Uh, Trinaldo is on the card. Uh, let's see if there's any other names that jump off here. No, not really. But it should still be a fun night of fights. I'm looking forward to it. That that main card is uh, it's got some names on it. Um, but I'm looking forward to the entire fight overall. It was a fun two cards. I liked. If I had to choose, I liked the Wednesday card better than uh, the Figueredo Benavides card, but still both great, both great fights. Uh, it's fun watching the fights. It, with the big break, it's kind of I've I've forgotten so many of the fighters. Like, we, there, I mean, there's so many fighters anyway. Uh, but you know, like cards like this, it's like half of the card. I don't 
recognize any of the names. So it's it's uh it's good to get back into it, and hopefully the UFC will continue to be able to show produce these fights, uh, even though a lot of the country is still it's getting ready to shut back down. It seems like so. Uh, yeah, great night of fights, great week of fights, I should say. Make sure you go support our sponsors, StationHouseCoffee.com, and follow Station House Coffee on Instagram for small batch, single origin, premium coffee, brewed in Vermont, shipped directly to you. Go to StationHouseCoffee.com and order your coffee today. Also, get Amazon Prime for 30 days absolutely free when you go through my link, InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. You can stream all of the Amazon Prime movies and TV shows. You can borrow Kindle books, and you get unlimited free two-day shipping on all of your orders through Amazon. When you sign up for your free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime with my link, InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!